here's what it's like inside LA's most ridiculous restaurant. Barton G in Los Angeles. And Joe, what's Barton G known for? Barton G is famous for the way they present their food, the dishes, the desserts, even some of the drinks have these elaborate props and setups that so they bring to the table. It's very Instagrammable. It looks really cool, but I have to wonder how good it actually tastes. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, I have not heard great things about the food here, but it looks really fun. There's, the entire kitchen is basically a toy room. And I feel that with all this emphasis on the presentation, they might be trying to overcompensate for something, possibly how the food tastes. Yeah, I mean, and when you're serving stuff in these giant vessels and everyone's focused on what the photo looks like, I think it's probably pretty easy to overlook how the food tastes. Well, one thing's for sure, we're gonna get to play with some fun props and see some cool dishes, so I'm excited. You wanna go check it out? Let's go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> giant forks, swords, knives, yeah. lures. Barton G aims to shock and awe its guests in a culinary theater of sorts. So we're always presenting over-the-top dishes, whimsical creations, not just your average, you know, white plate dinner, really pushing the boundaries of imagination. Barton G is the OG in over-the-top dishes, precursing Instagram probably by at least a decade. Okay, we get it, it's basically dinner theater. But let's see if it's delicious or if it's just another Instagram dud. First up, lobster mac and cheese. It's made with a heart-stopping amount of cheese. and lobster. And it wouldn't be West Hollywood without adding a healthy dollop of black truffle. And of course, they top it with more cheese. You really can't say this place isn't decadent. While the chef cooked, Joe and I decided to check out all the uh, dinnerware in the back of the house. So I gotta eat like <laughs> under the thing? Like I'm <laughs> But protect some, yourself from food spitters. Yeah, but if someone was taking it off, it was like, now we're taking the plate away, you gotta wear it for the whole meal. <laughs> Let's eat! <laughs> and of course you know there's even more lobster. This time, it's going into lobster Pop-Tarts. They're made with phyllo dough that is drenched in butter. And cheese, again, yes. This place has some interesting stuff. This would be a first, possibly eating out of a... Uh... Is it gonna fit over your big head? Let's find out. <laughs> nope. Oh, like a glove. Dude, this is like super heavy. It could like do a little bit of like cleaning as well. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand how this like, they serve it. No, they serve food in that? No, you yeah, wear it. Right? No, I think you wear it while you eat. This is an actual lure that's used to catch sharks. You can see right there, it does have the points they little plastic guys on it. This is um, what you eat off of when your dad didn't play catch with you, but uh, you want your dining just, partner to do crying, it. Just crying. <laughs> <Yeah. eating. laughs> I just want to play catch, Paul, the game of catch. I mean, this this is like uh, the carrot top of restaurants, you know? Yeah, it honestly kind of is. And the bath's sticky, which yeah. What do we got here? What do you, how do you even put food in this? I think it goes up. You open it. You got it. Oh, it's a what? Oh. <laughs> oh, like the UFO's landing. <laughs> the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Okay, that's kind of cool, actually. Really I'm cool. into yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, so these guys are definitely winning at presentation. Yeah, and I have to say, I'm a lot more excited to eat after being in this kitchen. It's almost like being in FAO Schwartz. I feel like FAO Schwartz had a lot of, had a lot of stuff like this. 
Ju uh, like American Gothic. Just The Great American Steak Dish is served with a boneless ribeye and bone marrow butter. And the Sabrina Sunday comes in a giant martini glass overloaded with ice cream, brownies, hot fudge, whipped cream, and sprinkles. Imagine coming here when you were a kid. You're just like, I want to go to the restaurant where they give you swords. <laughs> I would just be running around like, yeah, 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 yeah. I probably would not be, honestly. <laughs> Okay, enough goofing around. It's time to see if this outrageous food is actually any good. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, cool, right. great. Oh, uh, don't forget the Pop-Tarts. Yes, yes, lovely, lovely. Does this, uh, does this uh, toaster work? I mean, this looks delicious. Yes. Oh yes, please, my utensils. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was my. This slow you down a little yeah, bit I'll while trying to cut. It while yeah. You cut it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh, yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> we got mac and cheese and a giant oh mouse God, shrimp. Oh my God! Fingers. Hey. <laughs> Everything looks very delicious. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try. Some of this mac and cheese. Yeah, let me get rid of think this. Think I can thing. get in there? Can I try it? <laughs> Do it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I recommend a smaller fork. It's pretty fun. Does that, they also, yeah, they also give you regular size. Who size wants size. this when you can have this? For real though. This is really This good. is delicious. Yeah, this is really tasty. There are giant chunks of lobster in there too. Yeah. I'm impressed, color me impressed. <laughs> you know, the truffles, like, I mean, I hate to use the word like umami because it's so overused, but that's like what really comes to mind. It's like truffly, mushroomy deliciousness and it tastes luxurious and rich. Definitely. Teamwork. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to request a giant steak knife. Yo, give me one of those swords. <laughs> <laughs> and done. Wow, good Yeah, job. these are great. Amazing. Let's, let's cut back in and yeah, do like yeah, a time yeah. lapse of, yeah. and done. Yeah, okay, I like that. Yeah. And I have to say, gotta give them credit, like that's the color I like my steak. Yeah, but this is cooked perfectly. Wow. Mm. It's excellent. It stands on its own, it doesn't need this, but it definitely doesn't hurt mm. either. Why not, right? Yeah. Yeah. The sauce is awesome, it's cooked perfectly, this bone marrow butter is on another level. I thought it was gonna be like, um, also like eating out of these contraptions is gonna be a lot like more awkward. I mean, it's definitely just like a presentational thing. It doesn't really affect the actual process of eating it. What scenario do you imagine yourself like coming here and ordering like, you know, something with this sort of presentation? Probably like a special occasion, like a birthday or anniversary. Yeah, That's I think I birthday. Think. I feel like anniversary would be a little like, hey honey, here's a giant fork, let's eat this together. But I think birthday is a little bit more lighthearted. Okay, make a note that delete the note that I made for yeah. take my wife here for anniversary. <laughs> Just yep, scratch that. If you took Mo here for your anniversary. That'd be our last be anniversary. <laughs> Dude. Oh, wow. That's decadent. Oh, man. I love that. I love it so much. I love that there are, like, this place is Lobster City. There's so much lobster at Barton G's. <laughs> That's amazing. That's the best Pop Tart. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Now we're talking. Yo! <laughs> what are we doing? What are we, yeah. idiots? <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Your giant shovel. Thank you. All right. You know what I like about this? It's like these utensils are so heavy. It's like kind of like a workout. Mmm. Mm. That is very good. I think you need the little spoon to kind of help you along. Yeah, this is very efficient. Mm. That's so good. This is the kind of day where I love my job so, so much. How are you feeling about work? Great. <laughs> Yeah, this would this would also like really like um, hit the spot after a long day. This like this would hit the spot after a long day. A couple of your buddies just kind of kicking and have some ice cream. Yeah. Right. Hey man, I've had such a rough day. You know what I need? 
an ice cream sundae. Meet me at BG. <laughs> Apparently, what I'm learning today is bigger is always better. Like, all of these things have been so delicious. Yeah, so good. Good job. And I'm so full, I want to die. Yeah, I gotta lay down. <laughs> Look at this big spoon! <laughs>